In the last lecture, we learned about setting a default value for the route parameters. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how we can make a route parameter optional. So, currently in our ASP.NET Core application, we have defined two routes. First route is this route, where the path is slash products slash some ID. And the second route is this route, where the path is slash book slash authors, then some author name slash the book ID. So in the URL, if we specify root URL slash products slash some ID value, in that case, this middleware function will be executed. But if I specify root URL slash products and no ID value, in that case, this default ID will be used. But for now, let's go ahead and let's remove this default value. And now what will happen is, if I type root URL slash products, and after that, if I don't specify any ID value, in that case, this route pattern will not match. So in that case, this middleware function will not get executed and this default middleware function will be executed. But we don't want that. What we want is, we want to keep this ID route parameter as optional. So if the user specifies a value for this ID parameter after this slash product, in that case, we want to execute this middleware function. But if the user don't specify a value for this ID parameter, in that case also, we want to execute this middleware function. And here, we don't want to use any default value for this ID parameter. So in order to make a route parameter optional, all we have to do is, after the route parameter, we need to specify a question mark like this. So now, this ID parameter is optional. Now, when we have made this ID route parameter optional, if the user provides a value for this ID route parameter in the URL, that value will be assigned to this ID parameter. But if the user does not specify a value for this ID route parameter, in that case, null will be assigned to it. So here, when we are reading the value of that ID route parameter, it is going to return null if the user has not specified any value for this ID route parameter. If the user has specified some value for this ID route parameter, in that case, that value will be returned and it will be assigned to this ID variable. So here, now before sending the response, we also need to check whether the ID parameter is null or not. So here, let's use this if statement and there let's check if ID not equal to null. Then only we want to send this response because here in the response, we also want to print the value of ID parameter, right? Otherwise, if the ID is null, in that case, we want to send some other response. Let's say in that case, we want to send the list of all products. Now here, instead of sending a list of all the products, here we can say you are in the products page. Okay, here we want to keep things simple. That's why we are simply sending text responses. But in real world projects, when the user is in the products page, there we display a list of products. But if the user types slash product slash some product ID, in that case, we display the details of that product with that particular product ID. But here, since we are not creating a fully fledged web application, here we are simply learning. That's why for the learning purposes, we want to keep things simple. And that's why we are simply sending text responses to the client. With this, if we go ahead and if we run this application, here we are in the root URL. There, let's go ahead and let's type slash products and then some product ID, maybe 101. If I press enter, in that case, you will see this message. This is product with ID 101. But now, since we have made the ID route parameter as optional, if I don't specify this ID route parameter, in that case, instead of calling the default route, it is going to call the same middleware function. But there, we are sending a different response for slash products. So if I press enter, it says this is product with ID 0. Now, why is that? Because just now I mentioned that when we don't specify the value for this ID route parameter, in that case, it is going to be assigned with the value null. So here, this ID should be assigned with the value null, right? But if you notice, this expression is going to return us the value of the ID route parameter. So when we have not specified the value for the ID route parameter, it is going to return null. But we are converting it to integer type using convert.toint function. Right. And that's why that null is being converted to zero, which is the 
default value for integer type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this convert dot to int 32 from here. Okay. So now this expression should return null and that should be assigned to this ID uh, variable. And inside this if condition, let's go ahead and let's do the conversion. Here, let's say ID equals convert dot to int 32. And there, let's go ahead and let's pass this ID variable. Okay, so here we are converting this ID variable to integer type and we are assigning it back to this ID variable. Now, let me go ahead and let me reload the changes. So, I will click on this hot reload button. And now, if we go to the web page, now you will notice that when we have not specified the value for the ID parameter, in that case, it says you are in products page. But if I go ahead and if I specify the value for this ID parameter, let's say 203, and if I press enter, it says this is product with ID 203. If I don't specify the value for the ID parameter, in that case, it says you are in the products page. Okay, so here we have made the ID route parameter as optional. So even though we don't provide the value for the ID route parameter, the same middleware function, that means this middleware function is getting executed here based on the value of this ID. That means based on the value the user has entered for the ID parameter. We are writing this if else statement. If the ID is not null, in that case, we want to execute this if statement. But if the ID is null, that means if the user has not specified the value for the ID parameter, in that case, we want to execute this else statement. Okay, so this is how we can make a route parameter optional by specifying a question mark in front of it. In the same way here also, if we want, we can specify the route parameter as optional. For example, let's say if the user don't specify the value for this book ID, instead of using a default value, here I want to make this book ID as optional. So when the user types slash book slash author slash the author name, in that case, we want to display all the books in the web page which that particular author has published. But if the user also enters the value for the book ID, in that case, we want to display the details of that particular book with that book ID published by that particular author. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so here we have made this book ID as optional. So in this body, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to remove this convert dot to in 32. And here I want to modify the response. So here first I will check if the book ID is not equal to null. If the book ID is not equal to null, then we want to display maybe this response here. So let me cut it from here and let's paste it here. Okay. But if the user has not specified a value for the book ID route parameter, in that case, we want to display all the books published by that particular author. So in that case, let's say we want to display this message. Maybe following are the list of books authored by and then the author name. Okay. Let me remove this part of the response from here. And that's it. So let's save the changes and let's run this application. So here, let's say localhost slash books slash author slash maybe let's say the author name is John Smith slash let's say the book ID is one, two, three. If I press enter, the response is this is the book authored by John Smith and book ID is one, two, three. But if I go ahead and if I remove this one, two, three, and if I press enter, in the response, you will see following are the list of books authored by John Smith. So here in the web page, we can display all the books which this author John Smith has published. But if I specify a value for the book ID parameter, maybe 134 or 133, if I press enter, in that case, we want to display the details of that book, which is authored by John Smith and whose ID is 133. Okay, so I hope with these two examples, what is an optional parameter and how to make a route parameter optional is clear to you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.